partnership example, Form 1065. And the last example I'm gonna give you is a partnership example that shows where the guaranteed payment is reported, both on the partnership tax return as well as the partner's individual tax return. In this example, we have four equal partners with a 25% profit share each. So they're each equal partners and there's four of them. There's gonna be $100,000 in partnership profits on the form 1065. Now this is a type of trick question that they might give you on the test. Remember, if any of these partners gets a guaranteed payment, that gets deducted before the partnership profits are allocated to the remaining partners. You have four Schedule K-1s, right? It's $100,000 in partnership profits on the Form 1065. You have four Schedule K-1s. Each of these are reporting $25,000. Alex, this last one here, is the only one that gets a guaranteed payment. It's outlined in his partnership agreement. He's getting that guaranteed payment for something. Maybe it's services. Maybe it's for the use of his special equipment, whatever. He's getting a guaranteed payment, and it's going to be taxable to him but it's deductible before the partnership actually figures out its profits for the year. And let me show you an example. So here I have the Form 1065. This is page one of the Form 1065. This is a U.S. return of partnership income. And this is the Superior Tuxedo Partnership. <laughs> so I made up this name. This is not a real client. You can see right here, they rent formal wear. This is their business. The gross receipts or sales are right up here in line one. That's 150,000. That's the gross receipts that the business had. If you can see right here, that's where the guaranteed payment goes. That $5,000 guaranteed payment to that partner, Alex, goes here. It's treated as a business expense. See, it's listed on the lines for salaries and wages, repairs and maintenance, bad debts, rent, taxes and licenses. All of these are business expenses. And that's where it gets deducted, up here. So remember how I said it's treated almost like you hired an independent contractor. That's how you have to think about it. It's deductible before you figure the total taxable income of the business. Okay, so there's the guaranteed payment. There's the other deductions right here. And then the ordinary business income of the business is $100,000 when everything is said and done. So this is a really simple example. $100,000 is going to be the net profits, basically that the partners have to pay tax on. And there's four partners, so each of them is going to get 25% of this. But Alex, the one that gets the guaranteed payment, is gonna get his share of partnership income and then also the guaranteed payment. So he's gonna have to pay tax on all of that. So this is what the partnership tax return looks like when you have a guaranteed payment. And now let's look at the Schedule K-1 of the partner that's actually receiving the guaranteed payment. As you can see right here, this is the partnership. The partnership information is right here. There's the partnership's employer identification number. And you know that it's a partnership because right here under the Schedule K-1, it says Form 1065. If it was an S-Corp, it would say Form 1120-S. If it was a trust or an estate, it would say Form 1041. So this is a partnership. It says Form 1065. This is the partnership's name right here. And this is the name of the partner that's receiving this income. It's Alex Cooper, fake last name, <laughs> okay? And he's a general partner. And as you can see, he has 25% interest in the partnership. Very easy. It's four partners, each of them get an equal share. So his share of the ordinary business income is $25,000. But remember, he gets a guaranteed payment too. So right here, he's getting a guaranteed payment for services of $5,000. So on his Schedule E, on his Schedule E, he's gonna report the partnership income as well as the guaranteed payment. So he's gonna pay income tax on $30,000, the 25,000 plus the additional 5,000. And since he's a general partner and he's working in the business, then he's gonna pay income tax as well as self-employment tax on the whole thing. Okay, when you're a general partner and you're working in the business, you pay income tax as well as self-employment tax on the amounts that you get from the partnership, okay? That's it, that's the end. Next unit is going to be unit 11, which covers partnership distributions and liquidations.